Hey guys, in this video I'll be showing you how to set up your own Smooth McGroove style video acapellas. Basically, we're going to be taking multiple video clips, composing them together into a multi-tiled video, and adding the multi-layer audio. This is inspired by a username Smooth McGroove on YouTube. If you haven't checked him out, check him out right now. He has the most amazing uh, video game acapella remixes that I have seen, and they're great. Basically, he records each track individually, and then he composes a video of all the tracks together. So it's like eight different parts together, and he's his own one-man orchestra. Okay, so let's get some software to help us out. The first thing we're going to need to do is isolate the different parts of the song we want to play. And the thing that's going to help us do that is a MIDI player. So just go ahead and Google search sound fonts MIDI CNET, and that'll get you a very basic MIDI player that can isolate different tracks. Go ahead and click the first link and click a uh, direct download link. Do not click the big green button. Once you have that, it's going to look like this. It's a very basic MIDI player with simple functionality, but it has everything we need. The next thing we download is the MIDI file. So search download Forest Maze MIDI. And you can substitute Forest Maze with whatever song you might want to sing. Just go ahead and click the first result. We're going to find it here. Forest Maze 2 is the one I'm going to download. Right click, save as, save it to your desktop. And now you're going to have a MIDI. To use it, you can just drag and drop it into your MIDI player. And then let's hear what it sounds like. So as you can see, the magic of the software is that I can isolate the different tracks. I can click here to reset. So in other words, I can get the song and I can isolate each of the tracks, memorize each of the tracks, sing the individual tracks, and then compose them together myself. For example, to isolate the first track, we just click solo, click play. And now I can play this in Audacity. Once I finished recording it in Audacity, I can go to the next track and solo it. And then play it again. And then record it in Audacity. And that way I can have this song set up with perfect timing if I listen to it while I sing it in the headphones. That's kind of cheating, but it still works. Another way is you could just memorize it and sing it yourself. And a lot of the tracks might not be usable. They might be weird instruments or drums or something like that that's hard to emulate with your voice. So now that we have that, we can download Audacity to do our recording. Just go ahead and search Download Audacity. Download the file. Click Next a bunch of times. You know the routine. And you'll be able to record now. Now to record our audio, we just click Record. One, two. To add another recording, we just use the selection tool. Click anywhere you want to start and record. And if it's off, you can use the time shift tool to adjust it. That will make it more on time and then go ahead and listen to it. Sounds alright, but basically we're gonna go through the MIDI file and go through each of the tracks that we want to record. We're gonna record each of the tracks and hopefully we'll end up with a nice multi-track audio thing that we can save. Now if you mess up, no problem, just click X and then just click record again. Or if you want to remove breaths, like say this is a breath, you can go to generate silence and remove that part of the audio. 
it's really easy to modify stuff in Audacity. I highly recommend you record everything in Audacity because it's a lot easier to rapidly check if you're on time and in pitch with the other tracks. So you're going to be listening to the other tracks while you sing the current track. And if you use your headphones, that's really, really nice. If you use a webcam and record the track separately as video, it's a lot more difficult because you're not going to have the context of the other tracks to, to listen along with to make sure you're on time. As far as the video recording goes, you can use your webcam phone or whatever device or software that you may be most familiar with. In the case of this tutorial, I'll just be using VLC. And yes, VLC can record your webcam. Pretty neat. You just go to Media, Open Capture Device, and then select your webcam. And then select, instead of play, we go to Convert. And then select the video file that you want to output. In my case, I'll just call it cam1.webm. And we're going to select webm as the profile under settings. OK, and then we just start. And then you wait for the, the little camera light to turn on. Then you can start recording. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba -bum. Once you're done recording, you click stop. Awesome. And uh, we're going to record one more time. Again, open capture device, webcam convert, browse, cam2.webm, webm under settings, and start again. Record. Once you have it recorded, you stop. Now all you have to do is do that eight times. <laughs> and it's actually better if you've already recorded the audio, <clears throat> then go ahead and solo the audio and sing along with it while you're recording your video. That way you'll be on time with the different tracks. Okay, so once you have your videos ready, we need a way to compile all nine videos so that they play all at once in the same output file. We can do that type of black magic with something called Avisynth. So if you Google search SourceForge Avicent 2, you'll find it. And that lets us tile the videos together. It does all kinds of other things, like we can resize, kill audio, combine videos, and do all sorts of magic with Avicent. It's a simple scripting language, so all you're doing is editing text files to modify things. Just go ahead and click download, install that, and now finally the last thing, and I promise it is the last thing you're going to need, is MeGUI. So go ahead and search download me GUI. And what that does is it can read those Avicent scripting files and compress them into a video file that you can upload into YouTube. So we do need the software. And it can also mux video, multiplex. It can take different video streams and audio streams and put them together in one container. OK, so go ahead and download me GUI. Just go down, click download, click next a bunch of times, and we'll be set to make the last Avisynth file. The Avisynth file looks something like this, and this is the thing that combines all the videos together into one final output. It looks a little complicated, but just go to my video description, and it's going to point to this file, groove.avs. You can download it, and all you have to do is modify it. Please don't be scared, it's very simple. Okay, so top left is cat3.avi. Top middle is cat5.avi, top right is cat3.avi. These three videos comprise of the first column of videos that we have. Each one is resized to 284 by 160 with the middle column being 2 pixels more. And that's because we want to fit YouTube's widescreen resolution of 854 by 480. So basically this is the top column, middle column, and bottom column. And here we explicitly say that the first column is the horizontal stack of the top videos, the second column is the horizontal stack of the middle videos, etc. And then finally we take these three columns and we stack them vertically. So we take the first column is on top of the second column is on top of the third column. That's all this is saying with the Mario video overlaid on top. If you want to delete Mario you can. It still works fine, just save it. Okay, so the last thing you want to do is just change your own videos here. So cam1.webm and then cam2.webm. 
.webm, and so on. And you're just replacing with the video files of the videos your webcam output or your phone output or whatever capture device you used. And then if you have eight videos, it will end up looking something like this. It's eight tiled videos with an overlay video in the middle. But actually this overlay video is covering up another video behind it. Uh, this middle middle video isn't actually shown, so you could potentially use a blank video. That's just a black screen or something. Uh, if you don't want it to overlay like that, you can put Mario here or whatever game screen capture thing you have s selected and then just delete it at the bottom. Or you could just put like a black screen and it'll just have a black screen. Or you could put an actual different recording. So you could have nine total recordings with uh, another person singing or a musical instrument here in the middle also. It's up to you. It's completely up to you. So we save .groove AVS and we're going to drag and drop it into the program called MeGUI. And that's the program that's going to show us this nice little preview we have here. Once we have that, you click Q and it'll start encoding your video. Now it takes a long time so I've actually already done it. I have a file in my desktop called groove.mp4. Uh, that's what happens when I click Q, it just starts encoding it. The next thing we want to do is get the audio ready. So basically what we're going to do, we're going to go back to Audacity. Uh, we're going to select all. I'm going to go back to the beginning here. And this, uh, to select all, we go to edit, select, and then select all. Or you can click control A. So then we can shift click here because this, these two little audio sounds are actually just me saying one, two. So I don't want that in the video. And I can shift click to get it closer to the actual audio. And then I go to the end and I can also shift click to crop the audio to make it a little shorter to show where it ends. And then I just go to file, export selection, and then I call this uh, la 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 dot wav. Gonna click OK, click OK. And it's going to encode it. Now I have a file called lalala.wav on my desktop. Now I take that file. I'm going to go back to MeGUI. You drag and drop it in like this. Uh, we're going to select AC3, uh, FFmpeg AC3, the scratch pad. That one's fine. I'll go ahead and click Q. And in no time, it's going to generate la 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 dot ac3 that's the type of encoding it uses we have the audio we have the video we can mux them together mux stands for multiplex i can go to tools muxer and then select mp4 muxer multiplex is just a way to combine different video and audio streams together into one video and it's called groove.mp4 and I select the audio, it's going to be called la 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 dot ac3. I don't think it accepts wave. I don't know, I'm not sure. Uh, but ac3 is better encoded anyways. It's, it's better compression formats. And I can just click Q here. And it's going to start uh, multiplexing the video. And we have the video set. Alright, that's all. Bum 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 b